The Hair Transplant Network is the largest hair restoration community created by patients to help you find the best hair loss treatments and surgeons based on results. What's up, guys? Melvin from HairTransplantNetwork.com. Today, I have an exciting update. Last month, you guys may have seen my podcast with Dr. Barguthi, who's the only doctor that I know of right now doing human trials for vertiporfin. He just released his most recent update on the Hair Restoration Network, and I'm going to give that to you guys right now. All right, so before I get into the update, some of you guys may be new to this channel and may not know what vertiporfin is, so I'm going to explain exactly what vertiporfin is and how it works. All right, so vertiporfin is a drug that prevents the pathway to scarring, specifically engrailed one fibroblasts. Scars lack hair and sebaceous glands and other dermal appendages, such as the hair matrix and dermal papilla, necessary for hair growth. Vertiporfin aims to treat scarring by treating these key factors. Scientists at Stanford studied this on mice and pigs, and I'm going to quote one of the scientists from the study. He said, the results were astounding. The healed skin looked completely normal. There must be three things for wound healing to be true skin regeneration. The skin needs to have normal hair follicles and glands, it needs to have a normal appearance under a microscope, and it needs to be just as strong as normal skin and hair. So they found that when they treated a scar or a wound with vertiporfin immediately, the hair fully grew back. So we know that hair transplants remove the hair follicle from its root. What if you treat that wound with vertiporfin? Will the hair grow back? And that's exactly what Dr. Barguthi is trying to find out with a study. So let's get into the update. All right, now on to the update. So Dr. Barguthi treated a patient with vertiporfin. He has four different sections in the scalp, okay? So he has one section where he administered 0.32 milligrams of vertiporfin, which he labels 0.32 T. And the other section is controlled C. And then the other section, he administered 0.4 milligrams, which he labels 0.4 T. All right. So now that you guys know the exact dosage, now let's take a look at the results. Uh, if you can see there, there is definitely a terminal hair follicle growing out of 0.4 T. There's a faint, thinner hair growing out of 0.32 T. So that is an indication that is actually working, guys. It is actually working. Now, I'm not going to say it's full hair regeneration because, again, this is only one hair follicle, but I have to say this is very, very exciting news. Very exciting. Um, even if it regrows 25% of the hair that's removed, that would be huge, guys. For the hair transplant industry, that would be huge. If you guys want to know more information or want to get full updates, I'm going to include the official thread to the Hair Restoration Network in the description, guys. Um, I definitely encourage everyone to go there and follow the thread. This is where the most latest information is going to be posted regarding vertiporfin. All right, if you guys want to know a little bit more about hair transplants, you want to know the difference between FUE and FUT, how much hair transplants cost, I'm going to go ahead and include a link in the description box giving you guys dozens and dozens of articles teaching you everything you need to know about hair transplants. Also, if you want to consult with some surgeons, I'm going to include our list of recommendations in the description box. Feel free to send some online submissions. Lastly, if you guys want to know a little bit more and you want to talk to past patients, you want to look at real reviews, I'm going to go ahead and include a link of the Hair Restoration Network in the description box. If you guys are really serious about getting a hair transplant, I highly, highly suggest becoming a member. Well, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you guys would go ahead and hit the like. It helps the video get into the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys like the content that I post on this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you think anyone would benefit from this information, feel free to share with them. All right, till next time.